Hey everybody, Professor Erica Sanborn. I am here with my cartoon friends and your TAs. This is Billy and Rosie. They are going to help me welcome you to our community psychology course. And by the way, they also helped me put together an interactive video on the 10 core principles of community psychology, which I will link to in the video description. Community psychology is a field defined by its values and getting to know those 10 core values or principles is largely what we cover over the entire semester. So the interactive video explainer is a good thing to check out early on and to bookmark for later reference. Okay, I will try to be brief with this welcome video and still cover everything that should help you start off well for our course. In this video, I'm gonna talk about seven things. I will cover a word on the state of society in general, the giant syllabus file, our textbook, the community meeting assignment, what you need to do during week one, why you should come to chat, and what to do if you are struggling. So first, I am fully aware that we are living through some circumstances that nobody saw coming. That's right, Billy. And I know some of you have many concerns and hardships, and we all know that burdens are not equally shared in our society. And on top of all that, nobody is doing their best work right now. And I get that. My hope is that as I accompany you on this journey for a bit, that I can support your learning and your well-being, and that our class can be a bit of a refuge because we won't likely have much uncertainty to deal with. I've taught this community psychology course literally more than 50 times online. The course isn't going to change. And you're going to find a ton of resources, sample papers, and guidelines for all the assignments. So hopefully with no surprises, one sure thing can be um, a, a good thing amidst so much that is changing. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. Yes. Professor Sanborn just mentioned assignment guidelines, which is an excellent transition to talk about that giant syllabus file. I'm telling you this so you do not freak out when you see the syllabus. It's not really a giant syllabus file, but, rather, the syllabus plus the assignment guidelines for both of the papers. All in one place. So please do not be alarmed when you see the giant syllabus file. It's a regular syllabus, plus assignment guidelines, all in one. Good reminder to not freak out Billy. I'd also like to direct you all to the textbook. It is an open source textbook, which means that it is free. The link is in the video description and also in the course syllabus. I prefer the PDF version, but you will find many options and you can choose whatever you'd like to use. Thank you, you two. Moving on, I want to mention the community meeting assignment. Please take a look at it. It is in the giant syllabus file that Billy told you about, and I can also summarize it right now. You need to virtually attend a community meeting. A community meeting is something like a city council meeting, school committee, neighborhood association meeting. To meet the course requirements, uh, you can choose to virtually attend any meeting at which an elected or appointed, excuse me, to meet the course requirements, you can choose to virtually attend any meeting at which elected or appointed leaders meet at a scheduled time to discuss an agenda and vote and make decisions, all right? For our purposes, the key is the formal decision-making that must be a part of the particular meeting that you choose to attend. You can also use the executive board meeting of any of the university's student groups. Just make sure you're attending the meeting at which they vote and make decisions, not the social gatherings. They likely call them all meetings. So it's not just the word meeting you need, but that it is the business meeting where they vote and make decisions. And uh, you can also check out the Community Psychology Facebook page and look at photos from former students to see what kinds of meetings students um, have attended for this assignment if you need more ideas. And if you just want to go with a safe bet, go with your own regular city or town council meeting or regular school committee. Those are always a sure thing. And you're welcome to propose any business meeting though. So read the guidelines and then propose whatever you want as long as it aligns with the course requirements that it's a business meeting where voting and decision making take place. Then go with you, what fits your interests and your schedule. If I can approve it, I will. 
Again, this meets a major course requirement for community psychology in which you get to observe how easy and yet how complex community change can be in practice. And you get to see how a community goes about meeting its goals. Professor? Yes, Billy, thank you. Uh, you do not need to fully understand this assignment in week one, that's true, but you should find the meeting you want to virtually attend right away, ideally during week one, and get it proposed. You know, I often seek student feedback and input into course assignments and design, and I will no doubt ask you all for your input and feedback on things as we go through the semester as well. And repeatedly, over the years, the number one piece of advice that students want to pass along to future students is to make sure that people find a community meeting right away. Because the longer you wait, the fewer options you leave for yourself to complete the assignment. So I know it seems pushy for week one, but you don't need to understand it all. You just need to find the meeting that you're gonna attend and propose that as soon as you can. What else? Chat happens every week for one hour of live video and audio and text typing interaction. You can come to chat with regular video and audio, or you can come type into text chat if you prefer. I will always be there with audio and video, but I'll respond however you want. There is no agenda for chat. There is no requirement that you ever come to chat. Um, that said, I hope you will come to chat to meet one another. You can also certainly come on in to ask me questions and discuss assignments and coursework and whatever in real time. That's the stated purpose of chat, um, but I think the best use of it is forming community amongst classmates. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. It's up to you all. I hope you'll consider coming to chat so all those classmate connections can happen if you want. Last but not least, if you are struggling now or at any point, please let me know. And let me know as soon as you can. I will do whatever I can to help you. I'm not gonna go on about this. I know you're hearing this from, from all angles and in some form or another. I just wanna be clear that I'm on your side and I wanna help you do your best. If you need something, be in touch. All right, recap real quick. I get it that we're all struggling to varying extents. The giant syllabus file is really the syllabus plus assignment guidelines for both papers. Our textbook is free and you can get it online. You virtually attend the community meeting assignment. What you need to do during week one, find a meeting and do the regular week one lecture content. Uh, you should come to weekly chat for Q&A but also to meet one another. And if you are struggling, please talk to me. That is all we've got, thank you for watching. All the links to stuff that I mentioned are in the video description. We will see you soon. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Cheers.